Today in the Daily Dose, Quarks and Gluons. Fundamental to the study of theoretical physics lies the atomic nucleus, which is made up of positively charged protons and neutrally charged neutrons, whose behavior is dictated by even smaller subatomic particles known as quarks and gluons, which are mostly indivisible from one another and cannot be broken down into smaller components. In addition to having a positive and negative electric charge, quarks and gluons are the only fundamental particles in physics to possess something called color charge, consisting of positive and negative redness, greenness, and blueness, which, just to make things more difficult to understand, are just naming conventions that lack anything to do with visible colors. Of the four fundamental forces known to theoretical physics today, including gravity, electromagnetism, and weak nuclear force, the most powerful of the four is known as strong force, which is the force that connects the positive and negative nature of color charges, resulting in the creation of atomic nuclei. Because strong force is so much more powerful than the other three fundamental forces, physicists struggled for years to devise a way to separate quarks from gluons. The feat has since been achieved by the creation of a state of matter known as quark-gluon plasma, which occurs when the density and temperature of matter becomes so high that protons and neutrons melt down into a plasmic soup of quarks and gluons. First proposed by Peter Higgs in the mid-1960s, the Higgs boson, or God particle, is the fundamental force-carrying particle of the Higgs field, which was at last confirmed on July the 4th, 2012, by researchers at the Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland, the most powerful particle accelerator in the world. Now that physicists have the ability to create a state of matter such as quark-gluon plasma, the field of physics is rapidly expanding our understanding of the smallest elements of atoms, which in turn helps us understand the laws of the universe, proving that up to a few nanoseconds before the Big Bang, quark-gluon plasma permeated the entirety of the universe until the universe cooled enough so that quarks and gluons could form into protons and neutrons, making quarks and gluons the fundamental building blocks of both life itself and the physical world. And there you have it, quarks and gluons, today on The Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with The Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.